Hi everyone, Jan here, Let's Build Shopify. And today I want to introduce you to a new format on this channel where I will answer some of the more common user questions in detail. And apparently some of you wanted to know about the benefits of selling your products on Shopify instead of selling them on Amazon. And it's an excellent question, so let's find that out together. All right, so the first consideration is all about website traffic. And Amazon is like this giant marketplace with literally billions of visitors per month. So there's a lot of opportunity for your products to be discovered. And that also brings a lot of competition to the site. And as far as my understanding goes, I'm not an Amazon expert, but retailers would compete on two things. And the first thing is the position of your product listing against other products. And the second one is the buy box on the product page, because retailers with the same product listing would compete against each other. And only one can have the add to cart button and he would make most of the sales. On a Shopify site, on the other hand, you would have to generate website traffic by yourself. But if you manage to do so, there's like zero competition and every sale will be yours. And that brings us to key point number two, which is website tracking. And on Shopify, you can install any kind of tracking software you want, whether it be a Facebook pixel, a Pinterest pixel, Google Analytics, Google AdWords, remarketing, and many more. And these tools will greatly improve your marketing because you can collect data on who your average customer is and you will be able to target these very specifically in your ad campaigns. And I think on Amazon, you're very limited in that regard. Consideration number three is traffic ownership. And at the beginning of this video, we already talked about the huge amount of traffic that Amazon generates, but it's also one of their greatest assets because without traffic, the marketplace would be useless. And you have to be very aware that it's their traffic and not yours. And if they decide to rank down your listing one day, you will probably experience a decline in sales and there's not much you can do about it. And on Shopify, in contrast, you would be able to start building email lists and grow an audience over time so that you can own some traffic yourself. Key point four is all about search engine optimization because search engines like Google provide another great source of traffic. And with Shopify, you will have way more flexibility and opportunities to rank there because you can optimize your site in different ways. And one common way is to write blog articles that would contain useful information about something your customer might be interested in and search for it on Google. And you can optimize your meta information to rank in specific niches. And I think on Amazon, your main focus will be ranking inside the Amazon search engine. Another important consideration is about the products that you want to sell because Amazon has a huge list of restricted or prohibited items and they include anything with alcohol, laser products, CBD products and many more. So if you consider to sell, let's say, exclusive wine bottles or laser pointers, you will either have to find a way to bypass these restrictions and sell them as interactive cat toys or whatever, or you would be better off to create a Shopify site around that. Last but not least, we can compare the startup costs of both. So on Amazon, you will need some inventory first, and that would cost, let's say, 1500 up to a couple of thousands. And on Shopify, you would either invest your time to learn things by yourself, or you would hire an agency or a developer to get a professional setup, but that might cost a few thousands as well. And I think both ways are okay because you're making an investment and you should only make investments if you're serious about them and if you expect a positive return on interest but that should be common sense. All right, that's it for this short video and I really hope you got some new insights and I also hope you enjoyed the sunrise behind me. I think I recorded this over the course of one hour, had some coffee and breakfast in between. And if you have further questions, please let me know down in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so. And then I hope to see you in the next. Bye.